There are a number of challenges with giving the COVID vaccine around the country and around the world. For many of the COVID vaccines to be effective, the vaccine has to get inside of the cells of our body. The way that's accomplished now is with lipid nanoparticles, which work well, but they're expensive, it's complicated, it requires this cold storage. So we'd like to have a better way to put the vaccine inside of cells that doesn't need the lipid nanoparticles and their cold storage. We've developed a technology that is low cost, that is simple to use, and enables delivery of the vaccines into cells so that they can be effective. So the system works by taking two different concepts and ideas and putting them together. The first is leveraging this barbecue lighter to generate a huge pulse of electricity. So when I click this, you can hear a click and you can visualize a pulse of electricity being generated, which in a lighter leads to a flame. But we need to channel this electricity so that it can be applied to skin uh, to open up pores in the membrane to deliver our uh, cargo, in this case it's a DNA vaccine. To do this, the second innovation are these extremely fine microneedle metallic electrodes which we apply at the end of this, of this lighter element. So you combine these together and we get what we call an e-patch and really you can now click this and you've delivered really sensitive nucleic acid DNA vaccine effectively into a patient. This is an array of those microneedles. These are needles that are solid, though they're not hollow, they're not for injection, but they are our electrodes. So when we give that electric pulse from the, from the barbecue lighter, the electric pulse goes through these tiny, tiny needles and gives that electric pulse into the skin, which is what in turn causes the vaccine to go into the cells. By leveraging these very widely distributed technologies with uh, really clever innovations such as these microneedles, what we have is a potential technology that can address the challenges in delivery of life-saving vaccines.